Good morning. Good morning to you. All right, guys. Let's get it on the road. I want to read something to you guys. It was very, very profound to me today. But I got to get myself together in the process. I am on time. I am before my alarm clock will go off. So I got to read this really quick because it's going to go off and I'm going to have to reset everything. Okay. So today, my reading was very, very profound. And when it's talked about refusing to take risks. It um, talks about this French writer or poet or, you know, art critic. His name was Guillemin Alapanar. He wrote, come to the edge. No, we will fall. Come to the edge. No, we will fall. They came to the edge. He pushed them and they flew. Um, he go on to further state, you know, those who fly always get out on the edge. If you want to seize an opportunity, you must take a risk. If you want to grow, you must make mistakes. If you want to, to, to reach your potential, you will have to take chances. If you don't, you will resign to the life of mediocrity. The people who don't make mistakes end up working for those who do. And in the end, they often end up regretting the safe life they live. I got that from uh, Maxwell. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. That was very, very profonic to me. I don't know about anybody else. I never... What the hell going on? Oh, I never turned it on. What is going on? I never turned the key. But what is going on? My stuff's not coming up. I never have lived life on the uh, easy side. I've always taken the devil's going on here. I've always taken risk. I've always been one who uh, lived a little bit on the edge as far as going above and beyond doing things. I have always reached out. And for that, I have seen a lot. I have done a lot. I have um, inspired others. I have helped others. I have <laughs> I've done a lot of things. I've done a lot of things. I've had a lot of things happen for me and to me, um, and which have made me the person I am right now, where I will take risk and throw caution to the wind in spite of. Um, if you don't take risk, you will live um, a mediocre life. I took a major risk by moving to Dallas, Texas. Um, it was not one that that was expected of me. And actually, um, my father did not want me to leave. And my mother told me, if you don't go, you'll regret it. Best decision I ever made in my life. Best piece of advice my mother gave me. Um, I, I appreciate her pushing me. And to take that same analogy, if you think about it from the standpoint of life in the wild, a baby egg is hatched. The mother goes out to retrieve foods and bring it back and feed the babies. The babies get up some size and the mother leaves the nest longer because they've got to start to learn to fend for themselves. They got to get hungry enough that they get on out there and they attempt to do exactly what they're supposed to do in this nature of life. Uh, so sometimes, you know, you got that little baby bird, you know, that doesn't go ahead and take its wings and go ahead and fly. The mama has to push him. She understands the consequences and she understands the the um, the downside of all of this. However, 
she can't sustain herself and those children for long. She has to push them to be on their own so she can survive. So that's what this life is. You have to get pushed out here to take risks. <clears throat> You're not to sit here and be safe. Safe haven is what we've been taught. But if you were in the wild, you had no other choice. It's survival of the fittest. And if you do not survive, that's because you didn't take that risk and go out there and, and, and attempt to feed yourself, enrich yourself, invoke the knowledge upon yourself. Same concept in the world that we live in, in human nature, humanity. We've got to feed ourselves knowledge, wisdom, experiences that we can take and go out there and be successful in the things that we're doing. If we do not, then we succumb to not taking those risks. I thought that was very, very profound today. I thought it was a great analogy of some of the things I've mentioned uh, prior to, and I thought that I should share that information with you. Take risks. Prepare yourself for 2024. Get your information down on paper. You hold yourself more accountable if you put it on paper. I was supposed to be putting my things on. So y'all can hear me better. <clears throat> I think that helps because the more I get on this highway, the freeway they're working on, it's kind of rough there. The noise is loud. But take risk. Take extreme risk at times and make sure you're, you're comfortable in knowing that you can fail. And it's okay. And like I said before, falling down only does what? It means that you get back up and get to try it again. It's not at all a problem. When you have a little one and they're on their bike and they're learning, you know, I don't know if the kids are now still riding bikes. <laughs> I don't know. They may not. But when you rode your first bike and you had those training wheels on, because you, you couldn't ride that bike just on those two wheels. So you had to put training wheels on, right? Same concept. We talk about taking risks. You had to put training wheels on. Your mom wasn't you know, fond of you out there riding that bike without, you know, somebody out there with you and the training wheels. So you had to ride with the training wheels on and, you know, your dad or, you know, your uncle or whoever it was that you're, you know, your guardian out there watching say, hey, this child, and I rode this bike long enough with these training wheels. It's about time we take one of these training wheels off. So that's a step. You're taking one off. That's a risk. That baby or that child or that toddler or whoever he may be had to learn to ride not only with the two wheels, but one of those training wheels. So once you took that training wheel off, you were able to balance this life. You were able to balance that bike a little bit more. And you, were, you got so good at it that you didn't need that other side. As I was saying, you got so good that you didn't need that bike with those that 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 uh that one side you just like okay I got it I'm getting it I'm getting it I can do it I can do it I can ride this bike yeah yeah so not only are you feeling that confident your parents are feeling that confident too so they say you know what let's you know let's let's go ahead and take the other training wheel off and see how they do you know let's let's see if we can give them that uh, that leverage to go ahead and and uh and not have that training wheel on there at all. So once, once uh, you do that, then you see that you were able to ride that bike. It took a few steps to get there. However, you got there. You were able to get there and you were successful in doing so. And it didn't take long, it didn't take a lot, it just took courage and encouragement from your family or your, your guardian. And it's all that is in life. We just need a little bit of encouragement to push us. That's all. We just need a little bit of encouragement. So I'm giving you that encouragement today. 
I'm giving you that encouragement to take risks. Take factors into your own hand. Write them down on paper. What you want to see flourish in 2024. Take that in. Make sure that you are doing what you want to do to get to the level that you want to be in your business. So, therefore, you're holding yourself accountable. And, therefore, you see it on paper and you can see your progress. writing my goals for 2024 and uh, they are very very first <laughs> uh, I have a lot of things I have going and I wrote down my goals for 2024 and um, the timelines in which I have wished to have them accomplished and if that timeline doesn't meet up or match up with where I am currently at that time frame I will readjust that's what you do. You readjust. You readjust your timeline and make it where it's going to fit in or you see the projection for that goal to be accessed and uh, accomplished. So you, the business owner, will have time because you're in control of your goals. Your goals are not in control of you. That's what I want you to understand. Although you write them down, you can't adjust them. They're not in stone. That's what paper is for, to rearrange, and readjust, and revisit, and make sure you're in alignment with your goals. So, I am going to Start doing more, um, more stuff as far as I, I've been not my best these last couple of days. I've uh, had a couple migraine headaches uh, back to back, and I have not been in my room in which I was supposed to be doing some some patches and showing you guys how to do patches, and it just hasn't happened. I was uh, not feeling the best yesterday. And I had to stay in a dark room to kind of get my hair under uh, control. I don't know what's going on there. However, I hope to uh, get you guys in that room and see the changes I made. And uh, go ahead and get those patches done. I have to get them done by this weekend. I have to get those things done, done, done. So um, I look forward to seeing you all and seeing in the room. I don't know if that'll be this evening or later in the week. Uh, we don't have that much of it. But um, I will be in the room here uh, sometime in the evening. I don't know if it's going to be this evening. I need to be in there this evening. But we'll see once I get in today. So, wish you a great day. I hope it will be productive and you take risk and we see other in the risk factor <laughs> and uh, accomplish the goals that we're trying to achieve. You guys have a great day. 